Okay, here we are with building words. We are working on the pattern um, ak today, and we have our guest Quinlan. Say hi, Quinlan. Hi. And so these are the letters that you need. Quinlan, can you organize your consonants at the top and your vowels at the bottom, please? But what are those? That's just the rhyme that we're going to work with today. Can you do what I asked? Okay. I'm just going to get Say the sounds as you put them where they need to go. I'm going to scoot you a little closer over here. And let's actually... I'm just, I just made the word. That's all. We're not going to make the word, though. We're going to put the consonants at the top and the vowels at the bottom. Consonants. They only have one consonant. Why? We always have to have one consonant, Mama. Why can't we have two consonants? We'll get to that. We're not there yet. Um. Okay, so we're ready. Um, we have our letters, the consonants on the top, vowel at the bottom. We are going to be learning and building words that end with the rhyme ack. So I'd like you, Quinlan, to build ack, please. I made it as fast as I can. Wonderful. All right, so um, from here on, we're going to build words. Quinlan, remember that when you have finished building your word, I would like you to just put your thumb up to show us that you are ready to say the word, okay? All right, so please put a B in front of ack and put your thumb up when you have the new word. Tell me the word. Back. Wonderful. I Remember, parents, backwards. you can always pause the video once you see his thumb to give your kid a chance to um, sound out the word, okay? All right, take the B away and replace the B with a J. J. Tell me the word. Jack. Fantastic. Hit the road, Jack. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Great. Take the J away, please. Replace the J with an M. M. You're doing a great job. Tell me the word. Mac. What's a Mac? Mac. So if Mac it were just a C, then that's the Mac building that I work in. Mac could also be a name. We would have to capitalize the M because... Mac is a noun, and proper nouns always begin with a capital letter. Yeah. So All right. it's not Mac. Well, it also could be like a Mac truck or something, which is a big, big truck. All right, let's take the M away. Replace the M with a P. Nice. Tell me the word. Pack. Pack. Can you give me a sentence I'm for packed. that? I pack some goggles. Yeah, so you actually said pack, which, oops, <laughs> packed, which is a suffix that suggests that it's past tense, that it happened already. Okay, but this is just pack, like I'm going to pack for my trip. All right, take the P away and replace it with an R. Okay, tell me the word. Rack. Good. Can you use that in a sentence? I have a table. No, not it. I have a rack. I don't know what a rack is. Oh, okay. So a rack is like something that you put things on. You can have different types of racks. You can have a rack that you bake cookies with. You can have a rack that you bake bacon with. You can have a rack that you put art on. Me. I rack. Rack. Usually a rack has like holes in it somehow and let something dry. All right, let's take the R away. Replace the R with a T, a T sound. Tell me the word. Tack. Fantastic. Do you know what that means? How can you use that in a sentence? I have a thumbtack. Yeah, I have a thumbtack. Right. And tack can also be something else. At, at home, can you think of what the other thing tack could be? I'm a tack in you. So a tack would be a different word, but it has tack in it. It's a tack, a tack. But 
this is just tack. So when you go fishing, you need to have tack, which is <clears throat> your weights and your um, um, worms and the things that you need to fish or hunt. Okay, so let's take the T away. Replace the T with a S. I think if you sit up, it'll be a little easier for yeah, you to reach. Yeah, he did this one. Did. Put your thumb up when you have the word. Yeah, he did this one, Mama. Tell me the word. Sack. Sack. Wonderful. Well, yeah, can, how can you sack. use that word in a sentence? I have a sack. Yeah, or Santa has a sack, right? Or I can have a sack of potatoes or a sack of onions, right? Or a sack of dirt. It does not have to be gum and things. No, it doesn't have to be. <clears throat> nope. Take the S away. Replace it with a Z. Mm-hmm. All right, tell me the word. It's a name. It's Zach. It is a name. What would we have to do to make that Zach name? Zach is in your class. There is a Zach. He was in my class. He's in Baba's. He's in Daddy's class now. No, I mean, I think, what is it called again? I don't know. Z uh, musical theater. Oh, yes. There is a Zach in my class in theater. Okay, so what would we have to do with that Z to make it a name? To make it a proper name. Uppercase. That's right. It would have to be an uppercase Z. All right. So are you ready for some blends? This is where it gets a little tricky. Ch -ch 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 tricky. It's the mystery. Not there yet. All right. So right now, I'd like you to put the blend bull in front of ack. Bull. That's a D. You need a P. When you have it, put your thumb up. That's it. You got it. Bull. Wow, that was fast. Tell me the word. Black. Black. Very good. You have some black hair. Yeah, I have brown hair actually. But yeah, black. Good. You are black. Yeah, I'm mixed race, but I identify mostly as black. Yeah. Can you turn your feet hey, around? Your microphone's black. Mm-hmm, that's right. Okay, so the next one is, can you take the BL away and replace it with SM? SM. Mm. When you have the new word, put your thumb up. Wow, okay. Tell me the word. I smacked you in the face. Yeah, so smack is, um, it's an action word. This is actually what's called a verb because you are doing it. Now, if you put the suffix smacked, it is past tense, okay? So let's, Say a sentence that's not... Let's try to find another way to say smack without it being kind of violent. It's a hard one. Smack is kind of a... I smack the door open. I can smack the door open. Yeah, good. All right, take the sm away and replace it with a... You ready? Blend. St. There's a lot of blends for this one. St. Go ahead, put your thumb up. Nice. Wow, it was super fast like flash. Tell me the word. S slap. Hmm? Stack. 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 What can you stack? I stacked a bunch of books on my shelf. Yeah, you can stack books on a shelf. You can stack pancakes. Oh, that sounds so good, right? I a stack of pancakes. I'm going to stack pancakes on your head. No, that wouldn't <laughs> be good. All right, let's take this away and let's replace it with tur. 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 When you have it, put your thumb up. Under here so they can see. All right, tell me the word. Track. Track. What can you like use in a sentence? Track. Like a track? I said track. Yeah, track, like a car track, right? Train track. Mm -hmm. chugga, chugga, choo, chugga, chugga, choo, That's choo. right. All right, we have one last one, okay? Um, this is called a digraph. Now, do you remember what a digraph is? Yes. A digraph are two letters that make a sound that's a little different. So this one is shh. Do you remember what makes a shh sound? It's, you can't, you can't. You can't sound it out. That's right. You're right about that. And you know what? You're missing a letter. And at home, you're missing a letter also. 
actually need an, an H for this. That's right, yeah, the S goes first. So you would have sh and ak. ak. Shack. Shack, yeah. Have we ever been to a shack? Can you think back at the time we went to a shack? I have a shack. Yeah, but what about when we were in Nova Scotia and we stayed in that shack in the woods? Mm. Remember with BJ, Uncle BJ? Yeah. Over at home, have you ever been to a shack or visited a shack? What's a shack? What do you think a shack is? A little hut. Yeah, like a little house, a really basic house. That's right. Okay, well, that is the end of building words. Please, parents, have your kids write all. Quinlan, can you put these letters in the, in the um, bag? Have your kids write the words that we've built, and I can actually write them for you as um, Quinlan puts away his materials so that you know which words your kids need to write. Now, please encourage them to write lowercase letters and make sure that um, they're writing on the handwriting without tears paper. So there's back and shack. Notice how I am forming the letters. They're always starting from the top and pack. Hey Quinlan, it's um, fresh air break. Why don't you go outside? Pack and Rack. Good job today, buddy. And sack. And tack. Remember, when we write our letters, we always start left to right, top to bottom. Sometimes kids will write them this way, and when we list words, we try to do it in columns, okay? Tack, um, let's see. I think we had Zach and Black and Back. And once your kids are finished writing these words, make sure that they read them back to you um, to kind of make sure that they have that decoding skill. Okay, so here are your words. And um, I can't wait for next time in another round of Building Words. Bye.